so uh, sachin then i think we can proceed ahead before i go for it uh, please just tell about when did you graduate and where did you work your that little bit yes, your cgp yes, and your grade score yes sir uh, sir and we are uh, going for interview of industrial engineering right yes sir okay go ahead yes sir i did my graduation in mechanical engineering from nit kurukshetra in 2017 after that i joined shriram pistons and rings limited patredi as a gt in 2017 and i worked there from 1st june 2017 to 9 feb 2019 mm-hmm. and I, um, my key role was to implement the tpm activities throughout all four plants of the shriram pistons like piston plant rings plant pin plant and engine wall plant mm-hmm. so uh, my work is to uh, there by uh, my work is to before this uh, my cgp is 8.277 and my gate score is 744 and in in, in the uh, i put industry engineering at as my top preference because of my interest in college life as far as also in because of my industrial exposure because i worked in the industry engineering or whatever i have learned i want to get more theoretical knowledge and want to implement in industry okay so 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 sachin tell me uh, tell me something about tpm yes sir a tpm is a systematic procedure to achieve the to achieve the three main goals zero defect zero zero defect zero breakdown and zero and zero rejection okay yes sir so, so yeah from this we can achieve the uh, actually sir ultimate aim of the any private organization is to earn money so for and uh, for this they have the multiple type of project like for uh, money saving projects uh, automation projects robotics project and every project can be done in a systematic manner through out the tpm methodologies there are the separate methodologies to to achieve the any project like if we want to achieve the zero reduction first of all the main aim of the any company is to get the good quality and for good quality there are the systematic seven step methodologies to achieve the zero defect okay so when you talk about zero defect it is hitting me something somewhere a concept like six sigma yes sir is it the same thing is six sigma means zero defect or something different no sir uh, actually if we go for the zero then exact zero is not possible there there will be some defect due to vibration noises etc which cannot be eliminated but close to zero is possible okay so what is six sigma six sigma is also a methodology there are several steps to uh, six there are several steps to actually reduce the variation okay can you tell me the number of defects in six sigma number of defects in sigma sir i am not uh, no theoretical knowledge of six sigma actually but okay. six sigma... have you heard about three parts per million opportunities yes sir so what is three parts per million opportunities uh three parts three defective parts uh, we 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 want our production system so that we want to uh, uh, maintain our production system so that it cannot make the defects more than 3 per million product produced okay so sachin uh, this 3 uh, uh, defects per million is almost yes, zero sir. right yes sir that what so, that so, what so why why do we need such a high precision like six sigma why do we need that in industry why not uh, oh, oh, four sigma only or uh, two sigma only in that also number of defects is quite low quite low but sir actually the customer does not tolerate the any defect because if if we talk about the manufacturing sector if a wrong piston if if we have given the any wrong piston to the supplier then one wrong piston may lead to any accident on the road also but after the assembly if they if they have assembled the wrong piston in their vehicle then the overhauling cost of their they put up high penalty on the manufacturing sector mm. of the wrong parts produced so that so the every manufacturing company wants to reduce the defect as much as possible because of this high penalties from the suppliers also because of that there might be any accident on the road also okay and uh, sachin can you tell me something about the piston i mean what material piston are made up of and uh, 
uh, why that material uh, yes the question is made up, made up of uh, aluminium and alloys okay why why aluminium why conductive material is taken aluminium is uh, because it is the tail material that is that is not the reason no uh, okay let me ask you uh, piston is subjected to uh, severe pressure forces right severe 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 pressure pressure forces yes sir, inside yes sir, yes sir, yes, sir, yes sir. so don't you think that should be made up of some strong material aluminum is ductile it will break with that force no <coughs> yes sir <coughs> so tell me the reason why we take aluminum only in piston and there must be piston rings also yes sir piston how many rings. piston rings are there normally three piston rings but in foreign manufacturing vehicles they, pre they prefer five rings six in also okay so what is the benefit of having more rings and uh, normally the function can be done by the three rings only but they have the uh, more number of oil rings oil rings what is the meaning yes, of sir. that oil ring it, uh, it is used for the lubrication also okay yes sir so what are the applications of uh, rings why they why they sir, are they used sir, yeah they, uh, they prefer more number of rings because in foreign countries there is there is uh, they want their vehicle to achieve the speed of 250 300 km per hour that is not preferable in india in india normally we keep the speed up to 100 to 150 only so okay. their heat generation is more so we want to reduce the heat as much as possible so mm. for this reason they keep the more number of rings mm. acha what are the applications of rings what is the reason why we use rings uh, rings is used to transmit the heat it is uh, carry the heat to the uh, rings is uh, provided for the um, heat uh, heat transfer are you sure that is a function yes uh, yes sir there are uh, three three functions actually for what this. is the material of rings cast iron and silicon cast is provided iron. as a lubricant uh, okay cast iron and aluminum which has better thermal conductivity thermal conductivity uh, aluminum has better so, so now you tell me one thing like uh, piston is made up of aluminum yes sir so that is better to conduct heat rather than piston ring but as per you piston rings are used to conduct heat why they are made up of cast iron only rings uh, sir these are made up of cast iron because of uh, so that the shape does not deform if rings are made up of aluminum so aluminum is a ductile material which can, uh, cannot con uh, 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 withstand the very high temperature that will be deformed if we have made the ring from the uh, aluminum that the shape will be deformed mm -hmm. so there will be no, uh, there will be uh, losses like blow by losses etc will, will increase okay you talked about tpm what is p in the tpm productive productive what is the yes. significance of this word productive how product is different from productive product is something which is a uh, product is output output of any process any manufacturing process and productive means so pure uh, sachin i give you three terms product productive and productivity tell me the difference yes sir product is the output of manufacturing any manufacturing process productivity is a uh, number of products which can be produced by a single man power per unit time per unit person uh, or we can say productivity is production rate per unit man power or or it can be measured also production rate per unit group per group and productive productive means uh, productive here productive means should be to increase the productivity only not productivity
Okay, so when do you use productive term in industry? Productive terms, no. If we are getting the desired results. This method is quite productive. Can we use this way? Yes, sir. Okay, what is the meaning of that? We are getting the good results from this method. Efficient, right? Efficient, yes, sir. So can we say productive is something very good productive, very good yes, efficient sir. method. Can we say yes, something sir. like that? Yes, sir. You mentioned about term quality also. What is the meaning of quality? Uh, quality, sir, as it is defined by the Juran, like uh, quality is something which fulfills the needs of the customer. Also, it has been explained by the, some great personalities, like quality is nothing but just a perception of the customer. Hmm. True. Because, so yes, is quality related to cost? Yes, sir. How? Uh, if we want to achieve a very high quality, then cost will increase. But so in, suppose I increase the cost, does that mean quality also increases? No, sir. Okay. Can you give example? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, as I mentioned earlier, that quality is something which is perception of the customer. If I have bought a watch uh, of one lakh rupees mm -hmm. and and I am using the various features in that watch, I am saying to others like. Uh, it it has a very good quality, but the another person who had who had bought uh, who had bought the watch on hundred rupees only, so he is happy with it with its features. So that is also a very good quality to me. So it does not mean like cost increases to quality increases. Uh, Sajin, can you tell me the type of maintenance? Yes, sir. Uh, there are uh, like preventive maintenance, corrective maintenance, plan maintenance. These are the plan uh, under the planned maintenance. For uh, preventive and corrective maintenance. Corrective. Yes, sir. Okay, that is curative only. No, sir. Preventive, corrective. Preventive is just before the failure. Mm -hmm. And like schedule maintenance. Okay. And corrective it. Corrective is after the failure has okay. been occurred. Okay. And have you heard about term kaizen? Yes, sir. Kaizen is improvement. Okay. Kaizen okay. sheets are there. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Kaizen OPL uh, tax are there. Red tax, white tax. Um, just find out the abnormalities. Okay. So let me give you feedback now, Sachin. I'll give you okay. six out of ten. Yes. Sir. See, uh, you need to when you talk about uh, <clears throat> zero defect. The yes, first sir. thing comes to mind is six sigma. Yes. Sir. So go to your PD education YouTube channel and six Sigma you type yes, sir. quality six Sigma and you'll get a lot of videos. Yes, sir. Just go through that yes, sir. six Sigma is something which is very, very important. Yes, sir. What is Sigma? What is the relevance of that? What is black belt? Because the moment you say zero defect, he's going to ask you. Yes, then sir. also learn about Toyota production system, yes, sir. lean manufacturing system, right? Yes. Sir. <clears throat> uh, because you're saying the wastage has to be minimum. So that is a lean system. Yes. Minimum wastage, lean system, Toyota production system, uh, zero defect, Six Sigma system. Please revise yes. that. And quality you mentioned, just also go for TQM, total quality management. Yes. yes. And also revise TPM very well, maintenance yes. system and all. Yes. And if, since you are working in Shiram, piston and all, you have very little knowledge about pistons and all. So piston is made up of aluminum alloy because it should conduct heat. That is the purpose. Pistons are made up of cast iron. Pistons ka main function heat transfer karna nahi hai. Yes. Leakage ko prevent karna. That is the main purpose. After that, wear and tear of piston ka rokna. That is the second basically purpose. And foreign mein jo char ki jaga panch paad piston use karte hai. Rings. Uska yes. purpose hai ki wo speed jada to wear and tear jada rahega. Yes, piston saves the life of uh, sir. Piston ring saves the life of piston. That is the second function. Right. So these are some function and self lubrication. That is a third function. Heat conduct karna is not the function. If even if it is very minor, main is leakage prevent karna, wear and tear ko rokna, and tisra jo piston ka jo main aapko bataya that is uh, basically uh, jo lubricate karna. Cast iron mein self lubrication properties hoti hain. Yes, and cast iron ka resilience bahut acha hota hai. There is a reason cast iron is used. There is a purpose for that. And it can uh, take a good compressive forces, you know, and piston rings are subjected to compressive loading yes, because of the thermal stresses. So, yeah, reasons. Hain. 
सो यू नीड टू गो थ्रू दैट सिंस यू आर वर्किंग देर फॉर द लास्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स पिस्टन का तुम्हें बहुत अच्छा नॉलेज होना चाहिए रिवाइज इट तो एक तो वो कर लेना और बाकी जो टर्म्स जितने भी हैं इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग की रिवाइज इट वेल एज ऑफ नो योर नॉलेज फॉर दिस इज लेस जस्ट रिवाइज इट वहां पे हमारे पैनल पे पड़ा हुआ है इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग निटी बॉम्बे के उसमें सारा कट सारा टॉपिक पड़े हुए हैं इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग इज योर फेवरेट डोमेन निटी का सारा कंटेंट पढ़ लो दैट विल हेल्प यू एटलीस्ट यू गॉट द डायरेक्शन नाउ यस सर 